Okay, welcome back. I promise this is going to be three minutes or less. Um, okay, so in the last tutorial, what we did, we went in and we cr we um, didn't create this graphic. We just brought the graphic graphic in, sliced and diced, and retimed it so that it worked perfectly with our audio. Let's go ahead and give that a quick look and listen. It probably started with the Google search asking, what is the best video editing software? And at the top of the search results was probably Adobe Premiere Pro, Avid Media Composer, Final Cut X, DaVinci Resolve, Sony Vegas, the list goes on. But okay, okay, that's great. Wouldn't it be cool though is if we added a few sound effects or maybe just one sound effect just to kind of liven this thing up and give it more of a good feel. So a sound effect that I think would fit here very well is if we added like the sound of a keyboard typing whenever search asking what is the best we're typing what is the best video editing software. So if you go up here to sound effects, open up that. If you scroll through, we got a few of them that we can use, but right here we have mechanical keyboard. Double click on that and let's go ahead and give that a play. Right there. Let's drag that down here underneath the music into a new track. Let's go ahead and zoom in, shift F. We'll do that a couple times. And we want to have the audio start whenever we actually start seeing the typing. Right there. Let's go ahead and drag this on over, shift F to zoom in a little bit more. And let's see how this feels. What is the best video editing software? And at the Okay, so the problem is it takes too, this takes too long to type and this goes too quickly. But what we can do is these sound effects aren't super unique. We can just select it, control C to copy. Let's move the cursor over here to where these end and hit control V to paste. We're gonna overlay it. And now we've extended. And, I, and let's do it one more time, control V. We're going to overlay. And software ends right there. So what we're going to do, we're going to select that clip, hit H to cut it. Select this part right here and let's hit delete with the Z key. And now let's listen to it. Best video editing software. And at the top of the search results, and I'm sorry, this is going to go over three minutes but not much more because right now we're right at the three minute mark. This is too loud, the sound effects. That's video editing software. I mean, it's really getting up there. This video isn't about the music and it's not about the sound effects. Let's go ahead and bring these sound effects down to a much more manageable level. Let's highlight it and let's bring it down to like maybe minus 22. Let's see how that sounds. This is the best video editing software too low. Let's bring it back up to maybe minus uh, 14. And let's go ahead and do that for all of them. I got a good feeling about this. Let's see how this feels. Asking what is the best video editing software? And at the top of the search results was probably Adobe. And that was all there was to it. Hit shift G to zoom out a few times. And let's just go ahead and watch it in its entirety, just that section, and see how it feels. I mean, a video editor probably didn't start here. It probably started with the Google search asking, what is the best video editing software? And at the top of the search results was probably Adobe Premiere Pro, Avid Media Composer, Final Cut X, DaVinci Resolve, Sony Vegas, the list goes on. That sounds pretty good. I think having the typing sound effect added a little bit more to the video edit. And what you could do if you want to take it the extra mile is every time one of these icons show up, it'd be kind of cool if you took another sound effect, like for example, um, this magical ding. Let's listen to this. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of that one. What about um, like this computer tower power down. Let's see how this one sounds. Yes, yeah, so what you could do 
we can go backwards. And I just want to get this section right here. So if I use the D key, that's my endpoint. Let's go ahead and go over here. This is the out point, so that's going to be F. And now whenever we drag this audio down, it's only going to bring what's highlighted here and not everything else. Shift F to zoom in quite a bit. So what if we had, right whenever Avid Media Composer comes up, we had this really cool power sound effect. But we already know this is going to be too loud, so let's go ahead and bring it down. And let's just see how this sounds. Go ahead and hit Shift G to zoom out. This is the best video editing software. And at the top of the search results was probably Adobe Premiere Pro, Avid Media Composer, Final, Final Cut. Oh, we got a little glitch right here that we know it's visually, but from an audio standpoint, I think this sounds pretty neat. Pro, Avid Media. You wouldn't want to use the same sound effect for each one, but what you could do is you could go in and we got a clowny horn. Let's see how this one sounds. You could use one of these pieces for one of the other sounds. Let's go ahead and just do that. So the D key will give you an endpoint. F key gives you an out point. We can drag this down and let's make this one for Sony Vegas. Shift F to zoom in. I want that sound effect to happen right whenever Sony Vegas pops up. Let's see how this, oh, it's gonna be too loud. Let's go ahead and bring it down. Let's see how this sounds. Can you resolve Sony Vegas? Eh. I don't think it's the right sound effect for this, so I'm going to highlight it, hit Z to delete it, but you get the point. Basically, you can go out there, get some sound effects. There's lots of free ones online, or you can pay a relatively small amount and get some higher quality ones, and using sound effects well can really enhance the production quality of your videos. So, that's enough about audio, but let's go ahead and just fix this. I noticed a glitch where we cut from... Avid Media Composer to Final Cut. See if you can see it. See that? Yeah, so that's a problem. And it happens right there. Let's go ahead and zoom in more. Shift F a few more times, quite a few more times. And if we just take this and trim it over, all it was was that one frame that was causing us a tr trouble. So we'll click and drag this over. And let's see if we can make this come over. And that solved the problem for us. So Shift G a few times to zoom back out. Let's go ahead and play it one more time. Make sure that no other glitches jump out at us before we call it a day on this tutorial and move on to the next one. So Spacebar will make it play. Pro, Avid Media Composer, Final Cut X, DaVinci Resolve, Sony Vegas, the list goes on. But as it and that sounds pretty good to me. Let's go ahead and back it up. And just because we can and we don't really have any other decent sound effects to use, let's go ahead and give all of these software pieces the same power sound effect. So control C, highlight the clip, hit control C. And let's go ahead and hit control V right here for the start of DaVinci. And we want to move the audio waveform to align with the start of it. So let's see how this sounds. DaVinci Resolve. There it is. Let's go ahead and do another one over here. And we're going to drag it down and make another timeline. Or well, we're going to try to. Doesn't seem to want to do it for me. So what we're going to do is right click insert track. And it created another track for us. Let's go ahead and have it start right here at the start of Sony Vegas. Of Sony Vegas, the and let's do one more. Control V. Up, oh, we don't want to do that. Let's do it over here so it doesn't conflict with anything. Control V to paste, and. We'll go ahead and trim this, drag it on over. 
and let's see how this sounds. Avid Media Composer, Final Cut X, DaVinci Resolve, Sony Vegas, the list goes on. That sounds pretty good. Shift F, Shift F, oh, that's zoom in, Shift G, Shift G, Shift G to zoom back out. And let's just watch it in its entirety. It probably started with the Google search asking, what is the best video editing software? And at the top of the search results was probably Adobe Premiere Pro, Avid Media Composer, Final Cut X, DaVinci Resolve, Sony Vegas, the list goes on. But as a beginning video editor, it's imp That sounds pretty good. And it only, and it didn't take us a three minute tutorial to do it. It took us a 10 minute and 40 second tutorial to do it. So you just can't trust me whenever I tell you it's gonna be a short tutorial. Okay, so in the next tutorial, we're gonna add in some B-roll. And after that, we'll probably do one or two more tutorials afterwards, and then we'll call it a day on this project. But hopefully you're enjoying it. Hopefully you're getting something out of it. And when it's all said and done, I'm hoping that you are feeling more comfortable about editing inside the software and also feel more comfortable about the tools that you have at your disposal. So with that being said, my voice is slowly being lost. I will talk to you hopefully in the next tutorial.